In the lobby area, there's a guy standing there. picked up these grapes with my parents at the farmer's market today you guys and they remind me of portugal because these are the types of grapes that they use oh my god <laughs> to make the wine but these are so sweet they're literally called sweet grapes and trust me these are the sweetest grapes you're ever going to try i'm not a huge fan of fruit but i love turning things into something else that i can actually eat because i know they're good for me so i'm actually taking them off and then putting them inside of my little um, blending cup over here and i'm gonna make juice out of them i feel like it goes a lot more of a long way if you have some liquid and you can do like the same ratio of what's kind of in here look at this color look at this color oh my god that is unreal a deep kind of um stainless steel dish you want it to be like a little bit deep just because as it's straining, you still want a lot of room at the bottom. This is literally from the dollar store. I love it because it kind of hangs off to the edge there. And then I like to put this guy over top because this is going to strain, but little pieces of the grape might get through. If you're okay with that, fine, but I'm just going to kind of eliminate it. So I'm adding a second step by putting this, I guess you call it cheesecloth. I want to have something on the side so that it doesn't stain your counter because yeah, this color will stain. <laughs> That's what it's looking like. It has a little foamy top, which is pretty normal. And I still have a little small batch. Like I said, I didn't want to fill this up too high. I'm going to kind of like help it out and just kind of move it around. And you can also do a circular motion. At some point, you are going to have to lift this up because our dish is not that, that deep. That's why I was saying if you have a deeper dish than this, it's gonna help even more. So we're going to flip this and we're gonna grab this. And at this point, you should be squeezing all of this and I'm gonna be staining my hands. Like, look at that. So yeah, you can just slowly twist. This only takes a few minutes, honestly. And the bigger the batch and also the bigger um, blender that you have, this will go a lot faster. And then just slowly pour. You might want to hold this. I don't really like any of my juices really, really sweet. This is so rewarding. Like once you see this part, because you're like, I did that. You guys, this is 100% pure sweet grape juice. Like I'm actually going to be filling the rest up with water. Um, just so that I can like make the most of this juice and kind of just finish it off. Let's taste test this just because this is my first time making this specific one, but I swear like in my past life, I was like a Southern like housewife. In this life, I'm just an independent, look what I did to my skin, you guys. I think I went over and over and over it with my waxing strips. You're not supposed to do that because this side is fine. Anyways, um, we're gonna forget about that. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it doesn't even taste like very mild. I can't put my finger on what this tastes like. You're probably like, it tastes like grape. No, it's something else. Like it, it's giving apple vibes. It's giving notes of like a red apple. I think when you add the skin into the juice here, I bet you any money. Well, first of all, that's why it's purple because the interior is completely green. Um, but that's what gave it this color, but it's giving like apple. Okay guys, I just finished styling my hair after washing my hair because I wanted to try my natural curls and style them. Um, or kind of like take care of them after the shower. I never like wear my natural curls just cause like one, I'm not used to it. Two, I feel like there's a lot of steps involved when it comes to curly hair. I'm not gonna lie. So like if you have the patience for it, like God bless you. But, um, I hate doing my hair. Like I hate doing my hair that's why it's always in a low bun plus i just like that style i really like that pulled back pulled together classic like kind of style this is just i don't know i just can't see myself doing this every time but i don't have a curl cream all i literally used was some oil after it was done getting dried and i don't have a diffuser so right now i kind of like don't have the proper things the hair like kind of needs a little bit more drying but if you're curious this is my natural kind of curl I know myself, I'm not gonna wear this down like this. Maybe I can try like a half up, half down type of thing. 
but some of you guys wanted to see it after I did my hair routine a lot of people were like oh I wish you did like your natural curls and I was like oh I never do that like I never style my my natural curls but yeah this is the best I could do especially because I don't have a diffuser yeah just in case you guys are curious what my natural hair pattern is it's this very like kind of tight wave a little bit like of a medium size but i just wanted to do this for the hell of it and just kind of see like where my like what my hair would kind of look like i feel like i can handle this i don't know i just really like my super sleek like hairstyles and i don't know but i do like the half up half down i'm actually about to finish a fall clothing haul for you guys i got two more things and i already filmed the video but i'm like i have to just show them like I always love putting you guys on and like letting every time I find something I'm just like oh my god I can't wait to tell them so I have two more things I'm just gonna include in that haul at the very end and I figure since my hair is styled did a little bit of my makeup I feel a little bit better with this curly hair now like I'm dying to just grab my hairbrush and just like make everything super sleek like I'm itching so I really want to share this with you guys I feel like I always have like leftover tomatoes inside of my fridge and i don't know what to do with them and sometimes they end up going bad and you have to throw them out but you don't have to do that i'm going to show you guys what you can make with it i made this yesterday with leftover cherry tomatoes but then i went to the farm and i'm like you know what that turned out so amazing that i'm going to pick up three more tomatoes and make some extra we definitely don't want to waste anything that we have in our fridge these days especially with these prices just kind of roughly chop up your tomato into different sections you are going to love this especially if you are a pasta lover like me as your tomatoes are getting chopped you're going to add them inside of a baking dish just like this i also have my oven on broil at low on 400 next we're going to grab an onion you're literally just cutting it just like that so just cutting it in half and then half again so four quarters just like this and you can very like roughly split them up because we're gonna like occasionally stir this guy once it's inside the oven so that's literally all the chopping that you need to do of course for this you're gonna need some garlic so i already have mine minced inside of here i'm gonna add a really good amount just because yeah when you see what we're making <laughs> you're gonna understand at this point you can also add any herbs that you want to add inside of here that you like inside of your sauce if you haven't guessed what we're gonna make yet and we're gonna grab black pepper very important i love black pepper grab salt of course this is celtic salt and last but not least very important part actually second last we're going to drizzle olive oil over top i'm gonna grab a little bit of water and you're just going to put that in there again this is going to allow for some heat some steam to get everything really nice and soft you're just going to roughly toss everything and you're going to put it inside of your oven that again is on broil on 400 degrees you can also raise it up as you're going along and just kind of see how things are going but basically you're going to wait until it kind of looks like this right over here and as it's kind of in the oven, you can check up on it like every 10 minutes or so and kind of toss it up, especially when it's getting very, very like burnt in certain pieces. The other thing I love about this is that you can go about your day in your home doing your stuff and this is just roasting away. And this smell throughout your house is just, oh, it's amazing. Okay, so this is what our mixture looks like. Like how beautiful is this? Like you definitely want these burnt pieces. It literally is already becoming very saucy, but we are going to wait till this cools down because it is way too hot to shove inside the blender. Uh, today's Sunday actually, and I'm cooking pasta with the sauce that I made yesterday this exact same way. So I'll get to show you guys how it kind of looks like on a finished plate so you guys can see how amazing it turned out. I'm going to grab a spoon and scoop all of this inside of your blender. Okay, I've added a little bit more salt to the top because it's probably going to need a little bit more, but you can definitely taste test after and add it last but not least you're going to be adding a little bit more water and if it's too thick you can keep just adding but i'm adding slowly just to kind of get the texture that i'm looking for i like my sauce thick but not crazy thick like y'all look how creamy that is it literally looks like a vodka sauce like that's the vibe it gives me and when you taste it it definitely gives you that vibe and so I picked up these little jars from the dollar store. They didn't have any bigger ones. Look how amazing that looks, you guys. Like, we 
made that. Literally, it's like store-bought tomato sauce. A lot of us like pasta. Maybe you want to use this on pizza. You can do so many things with it instead of wasting your groceries. Just in case y'all are wondering how I entertain my dog so that she gets tired, enjoy my hanging tits at this point. Cause we ain't got no brawn. You know, you just gotta do things that make her very tired so that you can do work, you know? <laughs> Today it was a plastic bag with a bra strap in it that she wanted. It is what it is. I do not have time to W-A-L-K with her right now. This is my life. Why did I set up for this again? So after my workout, I will um, do my water because so I like to use this after. It's basically like a little post-workout thing. You can do it before too so that it's already in your body. But I'm just making my water now because I haven't made it for the day. Man, there's just something about either low impact or moving your body slowly or just doing Pilates in general that just triggers something for me, at least in my body. And I cannot be the only one where it just, it doesn't happen to me all the time. I don't know if it's because I was super relaxed today and I said I really want to relax today. I really want to make sure that on the weekends I'm relaxing because I get very overwhelmed with work throughout the week. And if you don't get like a day or two to relax, no matter what your job is, you are going to just run into a wall and feel like you need a break. So I'm really bad with taking breaks. Like I'm very bad with just sitting down doing nothing. I feel a lot of guilt when I do nothing. I think it has a big thing to do with my upbringing i was just anytime i would like be doing nothing it's like what are you doing like aren't you doing something you know and i kind of feel that now did i really put this in there i just randomly was like working out and it just hit me and then i don't know i think your body stores things definitely emotions i feel like your body stores things that you are not aware of and then for some reason when you're like working out that's when it comes out but i already put this you know what i need to focus did i already put this you know what i'll find out when i edit this we could always use a little extra collagen how sensitive she is like she just comes up to me she just knows like when i'm getting emotional and it's amazing having her there for that support because i never used to have that like living alone with no one here and she's just amazing when it comes to that honestly she just makes it so much better yeah i don't know i've been loving low impact i feel like I saw someone's video and it really resonated with me because she's saying like she was making like a, a video about like her living a softer life and she just realized that 
um, staying active for her lasts way longer when she does low impact and workouts that she actually enjoys. And I've been telling you guys this for years and I know it myself. It's just my brain always goes to like, no, we gotta like, we gotta pump and we gotta like work hard and we gotta, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm gonna get a bigger result if it means that I'm pumping harder. And that's actually not necessarily true a lot of the times because you can go ahead and pump as much as you want, but how consistent are you gonna stay with that? Where you can do workouts that you actually enjoy. If you enjoy pumping and weightlifting, go right ahead and go do it. You really like lifting heavy? Go ahead and do it, but ask yourself, am I staying consistent with it? Is it something I really actually enjoy? Or am I just doing it because my thought with it, like me personally, is I feel like if, I, if I'm pumping, it's like I'm actually working. And again, it goes back to like, oh, when you're sitting down, you're not doing nothing. No, you're relaxing. You know what I mean? So I've really switched to low impact and when I want to do some weightlifting, I will go do it. But I don't wanna do that full time as my active workout. Like just because I do notice that for me, it doesn't last. But Pilates, I was about to go shower and I said to myself in the mirror, oh, you didn't work out. And I, I caught myself saying that to myself. And usually if I was weightlifting, I'd be like, oh my God. Cause it's a lot on the body, it is a lot. But I caught myself being like, no, put on your, and it was so effortless, like, just go put on your workout outfit. Why? Why was it effortless? Because I'm enjoying the workout that I'm doing. So look, I just got in a workout. And I'm probably going to stay way more consistent with this, which is a fact, because it's been happening. I'm way more consistent with this than I am, like, they're like, okay, I gotta lift heavy. People will prefer that, and that's fine. But I've just noticed for me, I've been there, done that, and I noticed that for me, it just dies off at a certain point, whereas, like, with the Pilates and incorporating some weightlifting, I feel like for me, I feel like, oh, I got my workout and I can do that again this week and I can do it again. It's very important to really ask yourself what's working for you and what isn't working for you. And this is not about weight loss, this is about staying active for your body, but it's a huge part of your weight loss journey. If it's not something that you're enjoying or you haven't found the right balance with that, it's going to make uh, losing weight and your journey just that much more harder. And at some point you're either going to give up or you're just gonna be like, okay, I just need a really big break and I'll go back at it again. But you'll realize that's like a, it's like a circle. If I could give a little piece of advice, this is like super random, but I wanna start including these like thoughts that I have throughout my week. Cause I feel like I haven't been including them in like my vlogs and I really wanna start doing that again. Um, because these are things that I feel like have really helped change me. Why am I so excited about this? But I am actually excited. I was at the superstore and I was like, oh wait, they might have a blender there. Because I don't know, this guy has been acting really weird. I've had this for like, I want to say five, six years. And I don't know, lately it's been acting very strange. It's been like extra loud. The cup for this one is only like, I want to say maybe four cups. This one is a six cup one. And yes, this is not like the best blender on the market, but I needed to do the absolute like basic things. So it was on Amazon for $46.99. I found it for $42. But I just need a bigger blender because every time I'm making a soup or my sauces, I have to like do three different trips inside of this thing. So I don't want to have to do that anymore. So I'm like super excited to try this out. I'm going to open it up right now and make sure that everything is in there before I use it. Okay, so I actually just took the largest cup that comes with this guy. Um, it comes with a large and small one, and I put water in it because I wanted to see how much bigger this one is. Look how much more room this blender gives me. Guys, how perfect is this? I have my blender inside of here. This is where I was storing it last time. I have like a little Ikea liner at the bottom, and I have all the three pieces that came with the blender. It fits perfectly. Love that. And then I can also close it. Do not mind the mess in my kitchen, but y'all, do I have a story for you. Remember the blender? The blender is broken. It's broken. Sweetie, it's broken. She said, I'm going to be good for one use and we are going to be breaking up because that's exactly what happened. I literally had defrosted butternut squash. First of all, look how amazing my butternut squash looks. So we made it, like, you know what I mean? Like, I still got through. But, you guys, I had it all, like, defrosted and everything. We're talking about soft butternut squash. I put this guy on here. And then I just left it on one of the settings because I'm like, it really needs to blend. Like, I really need this thing to blend nice and smooth, right? I come back from my pantry, right? And I'm smelling this, like, chemical burning smell. And I'm like, 
uh, and, like you can feel at the bottom it was like a little bit hot or whatever he's so tell me this thing is not working anymore so I go put it back on and I click the button and it's 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 done like it does not want to turn on I literally plugged it in unplug switched it up take it off the, the platform put it back on the platform it's broken she said uh, I don't want to be here and this is why my dad says cheap is expensive. It's just, it wasn't powerful. Like it really wasn't. I had to like open it up a few times and I had to like stick in like the, the spatula. So, um, um, yeah, I, I'm gonna not have this in my Amazon favorites. My butternut squash turned out amazing though. And I have a half of a croissant, which is an everything croissant. I did not know that the superstore had everything croissants and the guy from instagram was like they only have the everything left and i was like oh my god i'm like this is a sign i'm like yes grab me that one that's fine i just finished making this soup you guys and it turned out absolutely amazing i wanted to try making like a minestrone soup and i've never made that before and i don't even know if like this is the base of it i really don't know but it looks so similar to that type of soup i put ground beef to start with some garlic and yeah, basically the broth is my homemade organic tomato sauce that I actually made in this video. And I also used my butternut squash soup as the base of this. Some thyme, fresh parsley is in here, a little bit of oregano, black pepper, salt. That's pretty much what is in here and it tastes unbelievable. Driving in the parking lot of the Toronto Premium Outlets. Um, they have like the chargers here, which are amazing, but the slower ones, which are the ones I need, they're all taken. And it's a Saturday. So this place is always packed. They literally, if you've never been here before, they have a building of just parking. That's how crazy. And this place is not even that big. And the parking lot is literally full, but I'm here to pick up a brand new bag that I actually got um, from Fossil. I got my first Fossil bag and I'm so in love with it, but I chose to pick it up instead of it shipping. The need for like a very classic black bag. Oh, I just found a parking spot. Yes! And it's at the front. Nope, they're just fixing their car. That's great. Um, yeah, so I really needed like a classic like black shoulder bag and Fossil had one on sale and I was like, you know what? I'm going to grab that one. So I'm here to pick that up. I'll of course show you guys what it looks like because it is so freaking cute. But yeah, I'm just looking for a parking spot, which is like impossible here on a Saturday. I got home and I stopped at the grocery store right after I came home from the outlets and I picked up, you know, like these little fast fry kind of steaks. This is a meal that my mom used to make for us all the time when we lived with her and I honestly miss it like it's been a long time since i've made this so i want to show you guys because it's a very quick and easy meal i feel like i've shown you guys like five food things in this vlog but this is such a quick meal especially something that can be inside of the oven while some rice is making in your rice cooker and that's literally it and basically you broil this on 450 until everything is just nicely combined and your meat is nicely cooked so i'm gonna put this inside of here it's three o'clock right now and i'm hoping to eat this around like five o'clock just so that it's ready you guys hear my ac i am sorry but it is freaking hot today i was not expecting that normally i do my unboxings on instagram and i'm just like wait how am i gonna do this because i want to do a little video on instagram this is the bag i don't think i've ever bought anything from fossil to be honest and because my style is like very classy right now, I honestly felt like this bag was perfect. I posted on Instagram two bags. One, I wasn't feeling that much from guests. Honestly, guests, like I was thinking that today as I was there, I'm like, a lot of brands have adapted to the new trends and really kind of uh, reinvented their brand and stayed within the times. And then there's brands that you're just like, why didn't you keep up with what's happening? 
so I guess it's just like people right some people just don't change and don't want to like get used to the like more modern styles they want to just stay with what they're used to and it made me realize that guess it's just kind of one of those brands they could really be like they could seriously be killing the game right now like I truly believe that they could be so much better than they are but I think they kind of decided to just stay and they have like switched things up but they've kind of stayed in like I don't know their own style which is fine it's just if they really wanted to like seriously like blow up and be really big I feel like they could do Nyla you always she always pretends like she can't get up here it drives me insane if there was a bone up here over here Did you see that? How she just miraculously came up here? Yeah, for that. Mm. All of a sudden, you know how to jump, eh, pendeja? Me, when someone gives me money, hands me a check, I, I can take it. I'll take it. Some brands have really, like, you know who's done that is Ardeen. Ardeen has really stepped it up. I remember when, like, I would never shop there until one of you guys were like, have you ever checked Ardeen stuff? They actually have cute stuff. And honestly, when I read that message at first, I was like, is she joking? Like, Ardeen is horrible. Then I actually went to go look because I was like, let me just see if like maybe they changed their style and like maybe they like come out with cute stuff. Yeah, she wasn't joking. Ever since then, like ever since she told me that. So if you're watching this, that was because of you because I started getting jeans from them. I have literally so many jeans from them. I have sweaters. I just got two things today from Ardeen. So I feel like they're a brand like thank you for like sticking with the trends and like changing as a brand. Let me show you guys my bag. Really needed a classic black bag. Yeah. You, you seem very happy back there. So this bag is called the Shea Small Hobo. They also have it in a larger size but for me I was looking for like the perfect small no you're not getting this like I swear to god these dogs they just want it all so i ended up getting this size i feel like it's absolutely perfect i'll even try it on for you guys so this is what the bag looks like and it comes with this little attachment with the gold key and i think it is so cute i'm definitely going to keep that on and it's the perfect size it's not too small i've been carrying like a little bit more of a larger wallet because if I have like receipts and stuff, I'll put it inside of there or any like little paperwork, they stick inside of there. So I needed a bag that fit that. I didn't want it to be so small where I was like, oh, now I have to change up my whole entire wallet situation. And I love that it looks very expensive. It has like an added detail on the side, so it's not just super plain. It's also that very like grainy type of matte leather. This was originally, it says right here, $3.29. So that's obviously when it first came out. I paid 94 I absolutely love it. I feel like the hobo style is super like in trend right now. Super classic. I also don't like a bag that's like too... Let me lower this. I also don't like a bag that's like too structured. So I love that this one's like kind of movable too. But I think if you're looking for a really classy like black bag for the fall and winter and you just want something that goes with every outfit i feel like this is a really good choice it does come with the crossbody strap if you guys want to attach it it comes with that pocket where you can stick your phone it's open has no zipper but then also has your zipper pocket at the back over here so there are two pockets on the interior you know what else i actually like to do you guys i do like to put on this strap and make it like a little bit short it just like adds something to the bag i don't know i've always liked that but let me show you guys what i got from ardeen i also got a few other things because i went there with jessica so i'm actually going to show you guys what i got since i'm already here i ended up getting this tank top from ardeen it's like in this very buttery soft fabric it's so freaking soft i got it in an extra small because i really want to wear just like my pasties with it and i tend to get it very tight i really noticed that this color is coming in so much for the fall this beautiful like light olive color it's almost like washed out and like pastel type so this is like a sheer top that's why i ended up getting the tank top to go underneath so that i can wear with it i got it in a large because the sleeves look like they're gonna kind of like grab my arms and i kind of want this shirt to be a little bit more flowy like the perfect layering piece because it's not super warm obviously because it is super thin but still covers you up and allows you to put like a cardigan or a trench over top or even like a really thick like sweater jacket like i got from amazon it has like this like rib detail to it and this color i feel like is the only like 
color I can actually do for like fall and winter. I really like my olives and I haven't worn it in a long time. So in this with the gold jewelry it just looks so nice. Like green and gold looks so, so nice together. And then add in some black. This color looks so, so nice with black too. So I'm super excited for that. Black trouser or a long maxi black skirt. Girl. When I went with Jessica, I didn't get too many things, honestly. There were things that I was looking for. So the day I went with Jessica, I ended up getting this cardigan. I really like how it looks. Typically, I don't ever do stripe. But because this one's, like, very chunky and it's super minimal, I definitely feel like I could get away with it. But, yeah, stripes are, like, not something I typically go for. But I feel like it is very classy. It looks very put together and very clean. So if you guys are wondering where this is from, this is from Old Navy. Got this in an extra small and they fit like really baggy. So you might want to size down if you want more of like a loose regular fit. It's very nice and soft, you guys. I love the mix of the like the golden beige, like the very warm beige with the black. I feel like it looks very rich. Of course, a black bag. It looks so nice. Got the same pretty much uh, cardigan, but I got this in a small. So it fits a little bit more like more loose more oversized on me this is cream but it has like little bits of like these camel brown little bits throughout and the buttons are this beautiful mix of like beige and taupe this is like your ultimate perfect like cream cardigan if you want something you cannot go wrong with for fall and winter you need to get this some of these are still in stock on the old name website so I will leave them for you. Today the girl's like, where's your cardigan from? And then the day I bought them, she saw me take it out of the bag. She's like, where did you get those from? So I feel like these are super classic. And they're very eye-catching because, again, they're very clean. just want to show you guys what it looks like with the black. The cream in the black looks so nice with a fresh, light blue jean. Oh my god, so nice. Next, this sweater over here, I wanted to get such a long time ago. When it first came out, like I want to say like two-ish months ago, this shirt came out. And it is so pretty you guys it is such sophia richie vibes such a clean neckline it goes super high up if you want to wear a necklace you can with like a little pendant it goes great with like a statement earring because it's such a minimal sweater super soft like our dean i'm telling you they're coming through they are changing and i love the way that they've just like made sure that like the new styles go with like what's happening i ended up getting this in a small kind of fits like a little bit more on the loose side at the top and then it kind of like grabs you a little bit more towards the bottom this bottom half over here by your waist you guys will see it on me kind of just brings you in and it's just i don't know it's just such an elegant elegant sweater like if you're looking for something to wear to work you want something super classy very like conservative neckline you're going to love this sweater I'm really happy with like all these basics i've been finding because i really feel like especially with my style changing i was like okay you're gonna have to get a bunch of new fall and winter stuff because i don't know i feel like i was thinking this the other day i'm like wow i used to i feel like my style was very much like trendy influencer you know and there's nothing wrong with that it's just literally ever since like the whole hype of like the sophia richie thing it really made me think i'm like it looks so nice i do think that with me personally as i'm getting older i feel like i don't need to show skin anymore like before in my 20s i remember just feeling like no like this is weird why am i covered up up to here i gotta show my chest i gotta show some cleavage i gotta show some tummy like come on i'm young and i used to relate to showing skin to my age and i noticed this with a lot of girls something changes where you're like I don't gotta I don't have to do that why am I doing that and I think it's because when you're in your 20s there's this like you have to be sexy you have to be like desirable whereas now like when you get to a more like comfortable age you're just like I'm me don't have to leave looking sexy and I feel like that whole like Sophia Richie thing came at the perfect time for me because I felt like my style was about to change and when I saw that it really just inspired me and I've really just found how I've been loving to dress. And I, it's just such a contrast. Like, I wonder if you guys have, like, really taken in, like, the contrast on, like, how I dress. Because if you look back at, like, older posts, I personally feel like there's a big shift. And sometimes you wonder, is your audience going to receive that? But at the end of the day, like, you guys are following me because of my style and people kind of like are on the train with you and i think you guys do want to see my style evolve you know what i mean 
um some people don't like it some people want you to stay the same dress the same you know and they don't want to see too much change but me personally i love change when it comes to fashion i love trying new things and yeah some people think that i don't try enough but listen i'm always gonna have a very neutral wardrobe but what i'm saying is i don't mind trying certain things here and there that are new and very different for me so everyone has a different idea of what that means yeah i'm just really loving like this new stage that i'm in where i don't feel that like i literally i'll leave the house now and i don't want to show skin like certain things when i look back i'm like i would never wear that I realize that like you were kind of dressing for other people to look at you type of thing whereas when you get into your 30s you don't care who the hell's looking at you it's so freeing because yeah i just there's so many crop tops in my top drawer that i got rid of personally i just feel like i want to cover up more i feel like my age has made me want to cover up more i can't believe i forgot to tell you guys why i even had to get the shoulder bag so obviously it's because i needed one but I was like, oh my god, I gave one to Amy like a while back. I gave her my Coach Hobo. I don't remember the name of it, but I gave her my Coach Hobo. It was like a medium size. It was perfect, okay? Very similar to this one, slightly bigger though. And I was like, I'm going to message her and I'm just going to ask for it. And then if she wants it, like to use it or whatever, she can go ahead and use it. Amy like never switches up her bags. Like it takes her forever to like get a new bag or to like switch up her bags, okay? I'm constantly switching my bags. It's my thing. So I message her. And she's like, Steph, I was literally going to switch to that on Monday. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, you've had this bag for like literally over a year now. You've never freaking touched it. And now you're going to switch to it? This is the life of an older sister. We give our younger siblings everything and you're never going to get it back. Sweetie, once they have it, you're never going to get it back, okay? And my wardrobe has always been like a free-for-all. Especially for Amy because we have like more similar style. She thinks that my wardrobe is like Macy's and she can just like Steph, do you have that nude shirt? Steph, do you have a nude sweater? Steph, do you have a black sweater? Steph, do you have like a nude bag? Steph, I know you have a really nice black bag for me and I just Us older siblings, we just give our souls to our younger siblings. We're just like, yes, we have it You can have it even though I want it. You can have it you know, sometimes I like being the oldest and then other times I'm like, no, no, someone else can take this job. I don't want to do it anymore Okay, I wanted to show you guys what it looks like once it's done inside the oven. You're gonna get, like, in the middle, I actually removed this entire pan, kind of like flip them, and I allow, like, the meat to stick up a little bit because some of the pieces are gonna get like that, and oh my god, those pieces are so good. But the rest of the meat will still be inside of the moist, so it's gonna be, like, very, very, like, juicy. So I'm gonna remove it, plate it up, and show you guys how I would eat it. My mom used to do this exact same mood, but she would put like pork chops inside of here. You can do chicken, but I just personally like my favorite is with the beef. So I have my meat all cut up because I sit at my sofa and eat. And the last thing I'm going to do is grab the mood and put it on top. And don't forget to grab like the onions and the mushrooms and everything. And that is what it looks like. Trust me, you guys, this is... I wouldn't say this is like traditional Portuguese. I don't know if other families did this, but we just used a bunch of like Portuguese ingredients and kind of made like a Portuguese style sauce. I think this was very quick and easy for my mom as a mom to feed us because you put a bunch of meat and it's like already done and you just need rice on the side. So this is a very quick and easy meal, but it has a lot of like Portuguese influence and flavors inside of here. It is so delicious. I'm starving. I'm going to go eat this up and make sure you guys try it out. Because I don't want to spend a lot of money, right? So, that's the No, so, anyways, it's a super blender, right? At um, the superstore. Yeah. So, he eats the village. I said, my dad said uh, sheep is expensive and he's not joking. So, what I just think, Cupra Mahon Blender. Oh my god, man. Part two of the blenders, huh? Yeah, I guess. But this one, so this one has the same amount, I think, as the one that I got. I like this one. This one's nice. Excuse me. Dad, <laughs> Dad I'm vlogging and you farted. You vlogging? I'm I'm taking a video and you. <laughs> it's, it's not funny. <laughs> oh, it's a boulevard, no? No. Yeah, it is. 
No. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. They have parsley now. Okay, maybe I'll take that. Parsley? Yeah. And this is, is the more. He's oh. done a bunch, oh, yes. yeah. Mama. These are the tomatoes I've been using to make the sauce. These peppers. I know, Dad, I showed them on Instagram. I said, I didn't know that this is how sunflower, sunflower seeds were made. Look at that. Dad, I had no way. I felt so stupid. So I ended up getting the Nutribullet one. But anyways, I ended up grabbing that. So I'm super excited. Don't break on me because I kept the receipts. And then I got this liquid IV. Last time I went to Costco, which was like months ago, probably like last year, I ended up getting these, but in a different flavor. But I really, really like these. I love that they come in packets and you can put them inside of your purse. This one is lemon lime. And then this is why I actually went to Costco. I went for the collagen because the one that I get from Healthy Planet, it's like this big and it's already like $40. And this one was 54 and you get double the amount. So it's definitely worth it. And I literally just ran out. I love this for growing up my nails. I actually just filed them because I want to like grow them out freshly again. I'm so excited to make my water right now. But y'all, I opened up this thing. And like, can someone tell me what this is? It's giving, I don't know what happens next. <laughs> it's giving, are y'all ready for a good time? <laughs> it's giving I'm lonely. <laughs> what is this? It says it's called a tamper. I'm like, oh, it's called something else, girl. Girl, it's called something else where I'm from. <laughs> but one thing I know is that this thing is massive it's massive i feel like i'm going to love this if you decide to work after one time of use oh yeah and i ran into one of you at costco and she was so cute i didn't get her name but i always get like a little bit shy when i run into you guys so i never ask your name but she was so nice she was giving like you know just want to say hi don't want to bother you at costco and i was like you're so cute I love running into you guys. It's not often that I run into you guys because I feel like a lot more people watch me like from the States. But I love running into my Canadians, especially people that are like super local. But if you're watching this, you were just so cute. I was just shy, you know. I know I'm here. I don't seem like a shy queen, but <laughs> I am. The base feels way more expensive than the last one. Like it feels hefty, girl. And then we have this attachment, which basically this means I don't really need the other one that I have. Still gonna keep it though because I don't know if Jessica has one, but I'll ask her like if she needs it. But once this guy goes on here, it's pretty much what I have with that one, so it just doesn't make sense to keep both of them. And I'm assuming this is like if you want to just cover this, or is this like if you're like trying to push something? I don't know, girl, but where I'm from, <laughs> she's slimmer at the top and she gets thicker at the bottom. Me, this literally fixes all of my like stew kind of soupy problems because i feel like it was just so annoying before because ladies it is soup season it is stewing season that shit's a beast my dad is like literally a 20 year old stuck in like a 60 year old body like this man is too much oh my dad i'm vlogging and you just farted in the aisle He's like, oh, that's why you're holding your phone like that this whole time. Yes, Dad. I'm like, Dad, now I have to take that out of my vlog. And he goes, no, maybe if you put it up, maybe I get famous for it. Guys, I went out and used my new bag today. I loved it, honestly. I had this on it just because, like, I don't know. Sometimes I like when that's on it. I don't know. I like when things have always, like, hung on a bag, like, if that makes any sense. But I loved it. It's like the perfect size. Like actually using it is different than when you like buy it and think it looks cute on like the website. But then when you actually use it, you start to find out things like you like, don't like about it. And honestly, there's nothing I don't like. It still fits in here because I was like, I don't know, man. That thing is hella wide. It's really freaking chunky. But it still fits in here. Oh, thank God. I'm currently just styling some outfits because I'm going to be doing a little unboxing of one of my totes and opening up a fresh new one because i'm actually going to be doing a 15 percent off fall sale i've never done 15 percent off i've only ever had codes that give you 10 percent off and this would be your chance if you want to get this as a gift get down babies why always have to be uh, not on the thing over there please but yeah i'm going to be unboxing it for the fall sale 
and I won't be restocking for a third time. I only have a few of them left. So if you want them, this is your chance to get the biggest discount I've ever offered so far. So it is going to be 15% off if you guys use the code FALL. So you guys will get that discount. But I'm just putting together some outfits. I want to show you guys how I kind of like style it. How you can still wear it with more like casual dressy outfits, super casual outfits. It is literally the perfect like errand bag. It is absolutely amazing. So I'm going to do a real and a short. I was thinking of doing this new sweater I got from Shein with some gold jewelry and I'm just trying to figure out the pants. Then I want to do a look with this super long cardigan because I think it is just so clean and the colors just go with it so nicely. So yeah, that's just what I'm doing right now. I was actually just packing up some orders, but I'm like, let me show them my new slippers. So I ended up getting these. I'll also show you guys the robe. This color is just everything, you guys, because I've literally been wearing this color nonstop. And they're so comfortable, you guys. Make sure you guys use my code. My code will get you guys 15% off if you guys shop with them. These are literally perfect for a little gift as well if you don't want to spend too much. Or if you want to get the robe for someone who likes to like pamper themselves. It's like literally the perfect gift. I want to show you guys fully what it looks like when it's hung so you guys can see it. This is in the color Mocha. Again, the most perfect fall color anybody that's really into like these rich bronzy brown tones they would love this as a gift you guys for christmas it's absolutely perfect i cannot wait to film some reels and content now i'm going to be using this color because it just goes with the season and i also have my slippers to go with it this really came through with these beautiful bougie robes and these cute slippers and you guys i literally just realized that she actually added a little like loop over here that you put on top of the hook so that you know with like especially with robes they tend to fall off especially with this fabric right it can be slippery yeah i had no idea and i'm staring at it earlier and i'm like wait a second there's a damn loop for, pumpkin for your place it's white just clean it. <laughs> it no that's if i was okay with having a pumpkin you know what this would actually look really cute on my balcony eh? what in the huh oh that is cute how much are they this one's actually really nice shape it's perfecto. You just gotta clean it. This one's got, look, it's nice. Super it's kind of cute. flat and it's got a little twisty twist. She is the key. She is the key. Someone mini. tell me, what the hell is this? This looks like a swan. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Holy shit, it actually does. <laughs> oh my god. That was so good. Does the thing come with brakes? Coming out of the house. Oh my god, Jessica I cannot. Stop in traffic. Hello babes. I wanted to sit down and update you guys on that story time that I did in the last vlog. I look down and I'm like, what the heck is that? And it's this tiny paper. So I pick up the note and it says he's left his name and he's left his number. Mr. Note Man, let's just call him that. First of all, you guys were so, you didn't make me feel embarrassed at all. You guys made me see it in a whole different light and I think that that's the beauty about sharing things. Like, I don't know, I feel like I have some trauma with sharing stuff and then I just end up like don't, like I don't wanna end up sharing it with anybody. But I feel like with you guys, you guys have always been like so supportive. Even if someone takes it bad or whatever, I know a lot of you guys like get where I'm coming from and it makes me feel safe to tell stories. A lot of you guys were like, I would have done the exact same thing that you did, Steph. Basically, most of you guys were saying, like, I think when you messaged him, he wasn't expecting it, and he kind of got shy. I think so, too. I'm going to give you guys a little update, because something else happened after, like, after that. Oh, my God. One of you said, um, maybe you should have called him. Yeah, no. Okay, so I think this was about three weeks after. I was walking Nyla. It was like super hot outside, whatever. We come inside and in the lobby area, there's a guy standing there. And he's about to go in the elevator and so am I. 
and he immediately sees Nyla and of course Nyla gets super like excited with people she starts like climbing on top of him like she's like jumping on him and I always tell her like get down stop that's enough like he's like oh no no it's okay it's okay and like I don't know his vibe was almost as if like the way he was acting with her was almost as if like he's seen her before but he didn't say anything which would make sense because why would you be like oh I see her all the time or like oh yeah I've seen her because I think if you were the person that so basically what I'm trying to say is I think this might be the guy that wrote the note I think this is him one the way he acted with her nobody else has I've run into a lot of guys in my building that have greeted her even when we're walking greeted her oh she's cute whatever petted her this guy was like petting her and he's like no it's okay no she's so cute like he was like in love with her i could not help but like think in my head like is this the guy that wrote the note is this him you know <laughs> i think you have a secret admirer you know that she's like please i'm living the life ain't nobody gonna interrupt my face but yeah so just the way he was with her i was like nyla i think we might have found you a stepdaddy <laughs> so yeah one the way he was acting with her i was like damn this guy really loves my dog like it was a little bit you know it was a little bit more than i've ever seen from any stranger before if you're wondering i don't think i've ever seen this guy i don't recall him whatsoever he's getting down to her level and he's like patting her, waiting for the elevator. I swear, waiting for this elevator was like an hour long. <laughs> I was like, bro, can we just get in this elevator? Like, there was already some like weird tension going on. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you, there was. Here's the kicker. The elevator door opens. Doesn't this man go? This man says my floor number. You know when people are like, what floor are you going to? And you know, he looks at me and goes, this floor, right? So in my head, I was like, this man knows the floor I live on. So I'm like, clue number two. So I was like, yes, yes, thank you. Like, I was just like, I was a little bit caught off guard, but I was like, act normal. So I was like, yeah, thank you. I've never seen you before, mister. How do you know what floor I live on? It was very strange, okay? Like, not strange in a weird way, but it was just making me go, mm, yeah, I think I'm getting the vibe. So we're in the elevator now, right? And you know how elevators can be, it can be a little bit awkward, it can be, you know. Again, she's like showing him so much love, like she still wants more attention from him. And again, he gets down to her level and I'm like, okay, Lila, like that's enough, like leave him alone. And he's like, no, 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 it's okay. She is so cute. She's so cute. So they're just like, them too, like they were having a moment and I'm just over here like, now that I'm telling you, we might've found you a stepdaddy. No, it's quiet and He's very shy, he's very quiet, he's very to himself. I'm very good at reading people. I'm very confident in the fact that I can read people. And he's very like, you can tell, he's like to himself, super polite, very quiet, very shy. But yeah, there was like this weird, like normally I don't get awkward in elevators. Like I don't care who's in there, whatever. The only time I get awkward is if there's a really good looking guy. I'm just like, okay, there's, there's some tension in here. This is awkward. Like that's the only time. But with him, it was almost as if like something wasn't getting said. That, that moment where like you're quiet in the elevator, it was not the awkward elevator quiet. It was like, there was something else. I don't know. And I know what a lot of you are going to say. Why didn't you say something? That was your moment to say something. No, that was his. That was his moment to say something. I'm going to be honest with you. I've been there, you guys, where I have been with a guy that's quiet and shy. One thing I love in a man is I love a calm guy. That is something that is so attractive to me because I can be very anxious and seeing how calm he is makes me know that when those moments come where I'm like overthinking and just like going a little crazy with my anxiety, I know that he's going to be like, we're gonna figure this out we're calm okay like that is super attractive to me so when i saw like his calm demeanor and how he was with her like it was very attractive but you know when you see how like shy they are sometimes like i don't know like it's weird because he was very like forward when it came to like oh like you're on this floor instead of like me telling him like he wanted me to know that he knew what floor i was on pretty much it's like he's like doing these little things but he doesn't have the actual like so anyways i find that so attractive in a guy like calm but i've been with a guy that's like super quiet and shy and 
it's just not my type i need someone to take i want to die a man that's going to take control and another thing i want to touch on is a lot of you guys were saying there's nothing wrong with a woman um like flirting with a guy or being the one to start something up with a the guy there's apples and there's oranges and some people like oranges and some people like apples i like neither i'm just joking <laughs> if i had to choose i would like oranges more what i'm trying to say is that's not for everybody like i said i tried that in the past i've been that girl in the past and it's not for me i think from what i've seen and just my experiences is that when you're the one to make the move and like kind of take control you're always gonna kind of be the one to take control in a relationship might not be all the time but i noticed that as a pattern the girls that i know that have taken the initiative have always kind of like their men kind of like sit back and wait for them to keep making initiative or take control in the relationship once i was in the driver's seat like that was it you know what I mean? They were always the passenger and I was always the driver. So back to the elevator, obviously it was a short elevator ride. How long can an elevator be? But we were in there, there was like some weird tension, but he never said anything. It's super polite. He seems like such a nice guy. I don't even know if he's still living in my building. The update to that is I've never seen him since then. Like I've seen this guy once and that was in this elevator and he knew what floor I lived on. He was like in love with her. And when, like, when I would say, like, oh, Nyla, like, get down, like, stop bothering him, he would, like, talking to me, but, like, not trying to, like, look at me. So I think this guy is just very shy and quiet if this is Mr. Note Man. But, um, you know, I wish Mr. Note Man all the best. I think that everybody needs to be who they are because I've changed myself to be in a relationship and it doesn't work you get to a point where like you just exhaust yourself so i wish that he finds a girl that compliments him for who he is you know really amazing with her i've never seen never ever seen a complete stranger and a guy second of all to be as good as he was with her like he was just so good with her and it was really cute to see honestly like it was attractive i think overall this guy was just a little too quiet and shy for me but the note is just the note is what throws me the hell off because maybe for a shy person it's kind of like here like you know what i mean it's just like eh, drop it at her door and let's see what happens and yeah i think that when i texted him back it just kind of like you know it was like oh shit she texted me back what do i do now these little things kind of show me how much i've changed and how much i've grown and let me tell you i wish you guys knew what type of girl i was before I let a lot of stuff slide i was just a different person things i would accept and how i would get treated i just accepted like the bottom of the bottom i'm just so different today but i think that those things had to happen to me in order to be who i am today like now i could be like okay like whatever like he didn't do anything move on like i don't care i'm not hurt by it like i did what i felt was right and that was it move on you know i'm gonna keep the vlogs long from now on i don't know why i didn't do this sooner i honestly thought that you guys would be like okay this is just too long it's like a freaking movie okay this other thing so you guys were saying don't give up hope stuff like still have faith like when i say like i'm clocked out it means that like i understand where we're at you guys like i understand where we're at in terms of dating and like relationships and like, it's bad like there's clearly a problem like there's a huge huge problem in society when it comes to dating there just is relationships in general it's in big trouble like can we just like can we just like come to terms with it? it's just i'm just being honest with you like, i know that there's uh very little of what i'm looking for out there yeah that's what i mean when i say like i'm clocked out like i'm not saying i'm completely the door is completely shut but I definitely know what I'm looking for and if it's not going to come my way I'm also very confident with that and I'm I'm fine like I'm I'm fine with that I think it's very important that's why it's very important to be confident in yourself on your own I'm saying like it's for your own good to be confident by yourself because anything clearly in this world can happen very very it happens all the time like i feel like i need to do another story time you guys about breakups i get a lot of um like anytime i ask like oh ask me questions people are like please help with breakups i had two major breakups you guys in my entire life and they were polar opposites a lot of things happened between those two breakups and a lot of things i did differently or maybe would just help some females out there you know what i mean because man yeah let's just say that the second breakup should have been really 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 hard on me and the way i handled it 
I was shocked at how I handled it. And if you guys want to hear that, I'm open to also sharing that with you guys as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do. Click the bell to get notified for all my brand new videos. And also if you guys liked it, give it a big thumbs up. And also leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about the elevator incident. Let me know what other kind of stories or maybe like experiences you guys want to hear about when it comes to like relationships. Especially when the video goes live. I'm always like waiting to see your comments. So make sure you guys leave some down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video. Bye.